Constructing a relative class frequency table. So imagine we have a categorical variable, it's called occupation, and this occupation has four classes. The first is the other category, we have the mechanic, we have a farmer, and we have a teacher. So this data was obtained from individuals in a town hall meeting, and they were 10 teachers, 7 farmers, uh, 21 mechanics, and the other um, occupation. All right. So, and we want to construct a relative class frequency table with this data that we have. All right. For in order for us to do this, it's good we understand the basic definitions of some of these things. So, when we say frequency, what do we basically mean here? We mean just the number of times in which these particular values occur. Okay. So, how many times teachers occur? So the number of times that the value occurs or the data value occurs is the frequency. So the frequency of teacher is 10. The frequency of farmer is 7. There are 7 farmers. How many mechanics do we have? 21. And then how many others? 40. So that's the frequency. Now we talk about the relative class frequency. So the relative frequency is actually a proportion. The relative frequency is related to the sample size. So what proportion is a teacher from the entire individuals that we had uh, with that our sample so if we talk about relative frequency it's just the frequency of the data values um, as it's related to the sample size so it's the frequency of the data value measured with the sample size and like i said it's just a simple proportion okay so um, the sample size is just a total of all of this so we add 10 plus 7 plus 21 plus 40 and we have 78 awesome so now let's draw the table very quickly so we put up a table and then here we have occupation we put the frequency and now since we're looking for relative frequency we put the relative frequency uh, there and let's put up the our occupations we have the farmer and seven the teacher is 10 we had 21 mechanics and then the other was 40 and our total is actually 78 very good so what proportion of the total is seven what proportion of total are farmers okay what proportion of 78 are farmers so seven out of 78 so our relative frequency here will be 0 0.89 and i'm sure you guessed right you knew how we got this is just seven divided by 78 remember i told you it's a proportion okay for teacher two is um 0 0.128 and this is just 10 divided by 78 and same thing goes for all the other ones now, what you should note here very quickly is that if you add all these things together, you're going to get a total of 1. Okay? And so, a relative frequency gives you 1. In summary, what we've said here is um, that the relative frequency is a proportion. Okay? And then, our relative frequency adds up to 1. Alright? And this relative frequency just tells us the magnitude of each of the data values and is measured with the sample size in mind so it's the frequency of the data value measured with the sample size in mind this is the simple way of constructing a relative class frequency table thank you very much for watching catch you guys in the next video bye <laughs>